If you're starting to trade crypto and you suddenly find yourself getting into a bit of a lonely headspace, this video is gonna give you a couple of the do's and one very important do not to help you get through it. Let's dive in. Now, I'm gonna just give you full disclosure. I recorded a whole version of this before and I scrapped it because I found that I was pulling my punches because we're making a YouTube video and I realized that it doesn't really serve you. So we're just gonna get straight to the point and we're gonna talk about it really properly, okay? Bring it on. When you're trying to do something that you've never done before, it makes sense to spend time with people who have done the thing you're trying to do. Now we're gonna come back to the spending more time with people who have done it, but right now, let's focus on one of the first challenges that you're probably facing, which is maybe you accidentally became the guy at the party who's talking about crypto. No one wants to invite that guy back to the party as things stand right now. Maybe if it's like, you know, halfway through the bull market and it's been on the news and Bitcoin's at the all time highs and people are like, oh, I think I wanna take a look at crypto again. I looked at it four years ago and then I just forgot about it and whoopsie, it's all the way back up there. There's only a little bracket at a time where you're the cool guy. The rest of the time, everyone knows someone who lost their ass in crypto, okay? The truth is that a lot of people are not gonna talk about on YouTube is that if you are embarking on this journey, it's a lonely journey to get started and you have a responsibility to yourself to create boundaries for yourself and have a diet of energy. The people who you give your energy to and who you allow to discuss this with you because most people don't believe in it. And it's easy to mistake them not believing in crypto with not believing in you and that's not really a fair thing to think, on their part or on yours. You know, I'm sure you might have found it already. It's not like, hey, I graduated from college. Everyone goes, that's great, congratulations. It's universally positive. When you say, I'm, I'm gonna start learning how to trade crypto, most people say, man, be careful. I heard about a guy. I heard about this thing. Remember, um... Be Millions of stories, right? You have to protect yourself from that negative energy if you want to pursue this because you can't blame them for thinking that. You can't change the way they think or change their um, perceptions or their history. Your responsibility is to choose your words. It's not their responsibility, it's yours. To choose your words and say, these people aren't interested in the thing that I'm doing, so don't, you don't need to talk to them about it. If you do, you don't need to go into too much detail. One, because it's not fair to them. Two, it's not really fair to you if you know that. Right? If you know that that's not the place for it, all you're doing is giving an opportunity to the situation for you to not be welcomed back. I'm gonna say that again. You are creating an opportunity for the situation to stop inviting you into it. And that makes you feel cast out and, and ostracized from your herd. That's not a good place to be when you're starting to do something that's this challenging. And it's not actually that challenging. And that leads us to one of the important points of what not to do. Do not sit in your room by yourself and watch endless YouTube videos like you might be doing right now. You are at a really serious risk of accidentally brainwashing yourself and not brainwashing yourself into believing in snake people. You might believe that there's this one shit coin that's gonna go to the moon because you look it up twice and then YouTube feeds you more things about that and you just believe that analytical data that's not really analytical data because it's just some guy on a screen. You don't know how to research shit yourself and then you put your money into it and it's just all a mess, okay? Be very careful about how much you consume on YouTube and more importantly, where you consume it from. One of my favorite quotes is be careful whom you ask for advice, but be patient with those who provide it. You have a responsibility to yourself to be diligent about choosing the people you choose to take advice from because it's so easy to start a YouTube channel and say that you know what's going on. Finally, the antidote. The antidote to what we were just talking about where you have a group of people in your circle of friends or your family who live in your neighborhood who are your previous life. Those people are not the people who are trying to do the thing you're doing. So you do have a responsibility to your future self if you wanna achieve this thing that you've said you wanna achieve to seek out the right people who are doing the thing you wanna do. It's logical. It's logical to spend as much time in the environment of people doing the thing you wanna do. It increases your chances of success and it also makes your journey more enjoyable. I am not telling you to sign up for investor share. There's lots of communities that cater to different styles of trading and different personalities. You might be a very calm person who doesn't like to speak up. There are crypto communities for you online. You might be the sort of person who likes to dress in fubu and throw up chains and gang signs and even though you're whiter than white on rice on a paper plate in a snowstorm. Did he just call us? Awesome. My point is, is that there's a place for you too. I think there's like Chad Crypto. You can find a herd. You can find a new home, 
okay? They're online, they're everywhere. Investor shares one is very simple. Safe trading equals profitable trading and we're in it for the long game and we're here to support each other, right? That's how our community works. But if that's not for you, if you want more risk and if you want moonshots, there's different communities that provide that kind of stuff. The point is, is that you focus on putting yourself in a situation where you are surrounded by people who are trying to do the same thing that you are. And then give yourself a chance to move. If it turns out that one community is not right, try a different one. Try three. I know a bunch of people that are members of a dozen different signals groups and crypto groups. It is not the way that it was 10 years, 20 years, 50 years ago. Everything's at your fingertips. You have no excuses. You are responsible for your life and for your future. And you're fully in control. That's one of the things that we talk about in the Mindset Course in Investor Share. You're in charge, you're in control. I recorded this section the next day because I really want you to hear that part. You're in control, you're in charge. If you sign up to one community and it's not quite right for you, do not let that stop you. Do not let anything stop you. You're in charge, so take charge. I hope that this video has helped you. If it has, please do the YouTube thing and do the like and subscribe and comment. And if you'd like to learn more, the link to the community is in the description. Until next time, safe trading is profitable trading. Stay fearless.